Now, there's some language that says definite article and indefinite article. Indefinite article means a, or using the word a. So if he was using the word the indefinite article, he would have, say, he would have said, I am a way. I am a truth. I am a life. And is that not the world today? Nobody's definite anymore. They don't know where they're going. Oh, you can believe whoever you believe. There, Jesus is a way, no doubt. We don't disrespect that. He is a form of life. I mean, you can have your religion and I can have mine. He's a, a form of truth, no question about it. How many know Jesus didn't say that? No, no, no. He, it's a definite article. He said, I am the way. That means there's no other way. I am the truth. There is no other truth. I am the life. And just in case you could possibly miss it, he adds to it, no man. Look at your Bible now. Can come unto God, unto the Father, but by me. Now, can I ask you a question? Does that sound a little narrow? Does that sound a little dogmatic? Oh, you're, you're really dogmatic. I'm sure that's not what Jesus meant. That meant exactly what he said. And see, just as we got a whole lot of indefinite people, we got a whole lot of people going on their way to hell. Because there is no other way. There are many roads to Jesus, but there's only one road to God, and Jesus Christ is that way. Give God the praise right there. He is the only way. Now, you say, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where can you support that? Well, let's first of all talk about all of us narrow people. How many narrow people in the room? I didn't say narrow-minded. I said narrow people. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a reason why you ought to be. Go to Matthew chapter 13, uh, 7. Matthew 7. We're talking about the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. If we cannot lift up this Holy Spirit, as we're going to be doing over the course of these several weeks, because some of the ministers are preparing a class on it, then we might as well close the Bible up and go home. Because this is our help. He is our help. In the seventh chapter, the 13th verse, if you're there, say amen. amen. This is Jesus talking. You know that. It's red letters if you've got a decent Bible. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Look at this. For wide is the way, is the gate rather, and broad is the way that does what? Leadeth to destruction. And look at this. And many there B, which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, or narrow, and narrow is the way, which leadeth where? Unto life, and few there be that find it. Aren't you glad that you're part of the few? Amen. You're a big few. Few ain't like three. No, <laughs> no, millions of few folk. So you shouldn't feel uncomfortable in being narrow because the word of God says you ought to be. And when you look at what's going on around you, shout hallelujah. You ought to be pretty happy that you're narrow. I didn't say you're light. I didn't say people will care about you. I didn't say that. But that's all the more reason why the body of Christ is to be one. Because we have a common Holy Spirit and a common goal to lift up the name of Jesus. And when he said, I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto the few. Unto the few we just talked about. You got to say amen. amen. 
No other way to reach God. No other way, no other way unto the Father but by me. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 1. I'm trying to give you some support for that. Look what the Word of God says. He's talking about Jesus now. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. Can I give you another translator's view on that? The other translator said the exact imprint. So in other words, if you want to know who God looks like, look at Jesus. The express image of his person and upholding. Notice he didn't say some things. All things, say all things. By the word of his power. That's what you got in your hand. Whether it's your smartphone or whether it's this, this book, this physical book. You don't have any power if you don't have his word. If you don't have his word, you don't have any power. And it ain't carrying it. It's possessing it. 